Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we are hiking at Spirit Mound, which is just north of Vermilion, South Dakota. Come along and check it out with me, it's pretty cool. In this video, my wife and I hike the very easy 7 tenths mile long trail to the top of Spirit Mound, just a few miles north of Vermilion, South Dakota. Spirit Mound is a restored and preserved piece of historic prairie that is a key landmark along the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail. It also makes a gorgeous place to stretch your legs, walk your dog, or take in a sunset. We started at the trailhead, which has a nice picnic pavilion and a reasonably clean pit toilet, and hiked through the restored tall grass prairie just filled to the brim with native wildflowers. We crossed a small bridge over Spirit Mound Creek, passed through even more beautiful wildflowers, and then began a gentle climb to the top of the mound itself. Spirit Mound is a striking natural feature of the prairie here, a remnant of the last great ice age, complete with scattered erratic stones carried on the ice down from Canada. And importantly, it was the only place where it is known with absolute certainty that Captains Meriwether Lewis and William Clark stood in 1804 while exploring the Louisiana Purchase and searching for a river route to the Pacific Ocean. The hike is extremely easy, and much of it is accessible to people with disabilities. I highly recommend you check it out and try to imagine the wild prairie that Lewis and Clark saw over 200 years ago. Welcome to Spirit Mound Historic Prairie. Very pretty flowers here at the start. says the trail is closing for bridge reconstruction, bridge reconstruction tomorrow. So luckily, it's still open today. Gonna go check it out. Very pretty walking through the tall grass here. There are several interpretive signs that help you understand the history of this interesting place. This must be the creek. I'm guessing this is the bridge they're going to be restoring. I see it's got some fire damage. Right. On this end. Oh, and washing out, yes. Mountain of Little People. So this hill is a natural hill, it's not human made. And uh, it has a core of Niobrara chalk, which is made up of fossils entirely almost. So cool. All right, well, I'm at, kind of at the base of it, and so I'm going to head on up the, to the summit. Let's go. Spirit Mound, known to the Sioux Indians as Pahawakan, was known to tribes all around long before Lewis and Clark ever came to the area. Lewis and Clark reported that the Omaha, the Sioux, and the Otos believed that the mound was occupied by spirits that killed any human who came near. On August 24, 1804, the day before they reached the mouth of the Vermilion River, which they called the Whitestone River, Clark wrote, Captain Lewis and myself concluded to visit the high hill situated in an eminence plain, three leagues north and 20 degrees west from the mouth of the Whitestone River. This hill appears to be of a conic form and by all the different nations in this quarter is supposed to be a place of devils. That they are in human form with remarkably large heads and about 18, 18 inches high. That they are very watchful and are armed with sharp arrows with which they can kill at a great distance. They are said to kill any person who are so hardy as to attempt to approach the hill. They state the tradition informs them that many Indians have suffered by these little people, and among others that three Omaha men fell a sacrifice to their merciless fury not many years hence. 
So much do the Mahas, Sioux, and Otos, and other neighboring tribes believe this fable that no consideration is sufficient to induce them to approach this hill. The captains were deeply impressed by the view from Spirit Mound. Clark wrote, From the top of this mound we beheld the most beautiful landscape. Numerous herds of buffalo were seen feeding in various directions. The plain to the north, northwest, and northeast extends without interruption as far as can be seen. No woods except the Missouri's points. If all the timber which is on the Stone Creek was on 100 acres, it would not be thickly timbered. The soil of these plains is delightful. Heading back down from the top of Spirit Mound. That truck's really roaring out there on the highway. All right, down the steps. So what I can't really catch on the camera is that there are some swallows flying around here. And when Lewis and Clark visited this place and they saw swallows here too. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> the sun just came out and it's kind of getting warm. We had nice cloud cover earlier. Oh, a toad! <laughs> Back across the creek. That's a vine growing up on this, this uh, 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 one of these yellow flowers. What'd you say these are? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember. They're sure pretty. That's for sure. And very tall. They're taller than I am. <laughs> so these flowers are so tall, 
And then the understory has these beautiful things. Wow, they are gorgeous. I don't know what they are. Have to look those up. There are just so many flowers. I can't make any progress. I keep having to stop to film them. It's just a whole world of humming. Thanks for coming along with me today. That was a cool hike up to the top of Spirit Mountain in South Dakota. Catch you next time.